in your corner at 6. Help me welcome the next coach of Buccaneer football, Randy Sanders. Three months after Randy Sanders was introduced as the 18th head football coach at East Tennessee State University, tonight he remains off the field amid an investigation into what the university calls a potential violation of university policy. Good evening, I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Josh Smith. We deliver the breaking news of the investigation on our website, WJHL.com, this morning on the air today at noon. ETSU told us Coach Randy Sanders was placed on paid administrative leave. The university's announcement of that investigation comes exactly five years to the day that ETSU announced the return of the blue and gold football team back to the gridiron. Today, ETSU's Office of University Relations released a one-sentence statement surrounding the Sanders investigation, telling us it involves, quote, a potential violation of university policy, end quote. News Channel 11 tonight is in your corner as we bring you team coverage of the investigation and its potential impact on the ETSU football program. We begin tonight with Carissa Winstead, who joins is live from ETSU, where fans she spoke with expressed support for Sanders and the Bucks. Yeah, back in December when fans learned that Sanders was going to be the new head football coach of ETSU, fans were excited. You know, he's from Tennessee and has a lot of experience on the football field, but now fans are asking questions, wondering why the new coach is on administrative leave just months after accepting the job. When we asked from the president to the athletics director what university policy Sanders potentially violated, the school declined to comment. Fans I spoke with today, though, are hoping it's nothing major so Sanders can get back onto the field preparing the Bucks for a big season ahead. I was excited to see him come and uh, just kind of unfortunate that they're already having trouble with the situation. Hated to see that. Hopefully that it's a process that we'll go through and, and find out what it is and hopefully something can be resolved so he can, if he's able to coach for us, so we can have him when the season starts. And I also spoke with students and a football player today who are all surprised by this news and all hoping to get some answers really soon. Reporting live from ETSU, Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11, in your corner. Carissa, thanks. In a completely unrelated incident, the university confirmed another big hit to the Bucks football program today. Former ETSU wide receiver Marcus Satterfield, who was selected to serve as the offensive coordinator back in January for the current team, is leaving the program. Mike White with ETSU Athletics told us Satterfield left the program for a new opportunity. News Channel 11 Sports' Kane O'Neill continues our team coverage tonight. Kane, you learn more on Satterfield's departure and the impact on the Bucks' loss of leadership during spring practice. This. Yeah, that's right, guys. Not even three months into the job, the former Buck is on his way out of Johnson City, reportedly to take a job at Baylor. Satterfield coached under now Baylor head coach Matt Rule while he was at Temple from 2013 to 2015. The two were also together at Western Carolina during the 2005 season. So no Satterfield and no Randy Sanders at Thursday's Ballot Health spring game, which was supposed to cap off the spring in style under the lights. And though Sanders will not be attending the game, the school says they will not name an interim head coach. It will also be interesting to see if any players follow Satterfield out as a few came to ETSU because of him primarily quarterback candidate Logan Marchi. While Satterfield is also gone, wide receivers coach Mike Rader will lead the offense at Thursday's game. The school also wanted to be clear that Sanders' issue is not an NCAA violation and it was a violation of school policy that they are still investigating. Josh, Sarah, 